Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to knit a cardigan. The written instruction how to make this top is available at interunit.com slash knit front tie cardigan. Start knitting from the bottom to top and for that cast on 146 stitches and two knitting needles to make the loops bigger or multiples of 11 stitches plus 3 additional stitches. For the first row, slide the first stitch on the right knitting needle without knitting it. Then knit two stitches together. Knit 5 Then do yarn over Knit 1 And again yarn over. Knit 2. Then knit 3 stitches together. Then just repeat the process again. Knit 5, yarn over knit 1, yarn over knit 2, knit 3 stitches together and so on. At the end of the first row, after last yarn over knit 1, yarn over knit 2, you have 3 stitches left, so knit 2 stitches together and knit 1. Then turn your work to the wrong side and purl all stitches to end. Slide this first stitch without knitting it. And then just continue purling. Start each row on the right side with slip stitch to the right needle without knitting it. And then knit two stitches together. Then knit four. Yarn over knit three. Then yarn over knit one. And again. Knit three stitches together. Then just repeat what you just did. Again, knit four. Yarn over, knit three, and so on. At 
at the end of the row again after last knit one knit two stitches together and knit one Curl all even rows to end. Fifth row, slide one stitch as usual, then knit two stitches together. Knit three, then yarn over, knit five, and then again yarn over and knit three stitches together. And then just repeat the process again. Knit three, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, knit three, stitches together to end. At the end of the row, after last, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit one. And again, purl. The sixth row. Seventh row. Slip one stitch, knit two stitches together, then knit two. Then Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then knit five. Then knit three stitches together, and again repeat the process. Knit two yarn over, knit one yarn over, knit five, knit three stitches together to end. At the end of the seventh row, after last, knit five, knit two stitches together, knit one, and purl the eighth row. Ninth row, slip one stitch, knit two stitches together, knit one, yarn over, knit three, and again yarn over, knit four. and knit three stitches together then just repeat the process at the end of the row after last knit four knit two stitches together and then knit one eleventh row Slip one stitch, knit two stitches together, then yarn over, knit five, and then again yarn over, knit three.
and knit three stitches together. Then again, just repeat like here, yarn over, knit five yarn over, and so on. At the end of the eleventh row, after last knit three, knit two stitches together and knit one. Now repeat the pattern starting from the first row. So my thirteenth row will be like first one, and use a smaller size knitting needle. So again, slip one stitch, knit two stitches together, then knit five. Then yarn over, knit one stitch, yarn over, then knit two, then knit three stitches together, and so on. Just repeat the process. After you knit five repeats of the pattern, or reach the desired length under bust, knit very last row and cast off all the stitches. To cast off, purl two stitches together and then slide the stitch back to the left needle and then just repeat the process again. Purl two stitches together and then slide the stitch back. That way I will continue to end of the row. Then make a loop or chain. And insert your needle into the second chain from your needle. Pull the yarn through. So you have two stitches on your needle. Pick up all the other stitches through the back loop. So that way you will have again 146 stitches. Purl as usual the wrong side and now begin to decrease two stitches every other row. So as usual slip one stitch, knit two stitches together, then just knit all stitches to less three stitches. At the end of the row, when you have just three stitches left, knit two stitches together to decrease second chain and then knit one. All even rows purl as usual and then again decrease two stitches on the right side as you did here. After you knit 18 rows, Decreasing two stitches every other row, you should have 18 stitches less or 128 stitches in total. After the decrease, I will knit the front part like a mirror reflection to this one. So I will continue decreasing from my left side and I will not decrease from my right side. I slided 28 stitches on the other knitting needle. And then I will bind off one stitch.
and do your nova knit two stitches together knit two stitches and then just repeat the process again yarn over knit two stitches together knit two stitches and so on at the end of the first row after last knit two stitches together knit one then again knit two stitches together and then again knit one second and all even rows purl as usual third row knit all stitches to end to last three stitches then knit two stitches together to decrease one chain from this side from left side and knit one fifth row slide the first stitch to the right needle without knitting it knit two then yarn over knit two stitches together and continue the process again knit two yarn over knit two stitches together and so on At the end of the fifth row, after last knit two stitches together, knit one, knit two stitches together, and again knit one. Seventh row, again knit all stitches to last three stitches, then knit two stitches together and knit one. Ninth row works similar to first row, but instead of binding off one stitch, just slip one stitch, yarn over, knit two stitches together, then knit two stitches, and so on. Just continue the repeat. You can yarn over, knit two stitches together, and so on. And the end of the ninth row after knit two stitches together as usual knit one knit two stitches together and knit one work your eleventh row like your third row thirteenth row like your fifth row just continue decreasing chains from the left side so again 13th row work like fifth row slip stitch knit two yarn over knit two stitches together and so on i decrease stitches from the left side until I have just 15 stitches left, then I started 25th row as usual, and now instead of decrease, when I have just 4 stitches left, just knit 4 stitches. My 27th row, I just knitted to end, and again I did not do the decrease. And then my 29th row, I started like my fifth one, but then after knit two stitches together, knit two. And just continue the pattern regular way. Again, 31st row just knit to end, 33rd row work like 29th row, and so on. 
After you knit 44 rows, cast off all the stitches. For the back part, bind off one stitch and then work 72 stitches or multiples of 3 stitches and knit the pattern as here without decreasing stitches. So again knit 3 stitches. Yarn over, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches, then again just repeat. Yarn over, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches and so on. After you knit 44 rows, for the back part, as you did for the front one, work back shoulder piece. For that, continue the pattern for two more rows and use 15 stitches as here. Just continue alternating rows, so my hole will be here. Slip one stitch, knit one stitch, yarn over. Knit two stitches together, knit two stitches and so on. Count again your stitches. You should have 15 stitches. And after last knit two stitches together, knit three stitches. Turn your work and purl all stitches to end. Now you may cast off all the stitches and then sew back and front shoulder pieces together. I will not do that. I will not cast off stitches. I will just join those pieces, shoulder pieces with a crochet hook. For that Insert the hook into a stitch, then in a stitch on your needle, in the first one, grab the yarn and pull it through the two stitches. And then just uh, when you use this stitch, remove it from the left needle. Then repeat the process again, insert the hook into the following chain and then in the following stitch, then again pull the yarn through the three stitches and again remove this stitch from the needle. That way I will continue to end. Join the last stitch. Make one chain and work slip stitch down. And again, one more slip stitch. And last one. Now place this chain on your left needle. And cast off stitches to last uh, 15 stitches, then work second shoulder piece. 
After you have just 15 stitches left, work the two rows as here for the second back shoulder piece and then join uh, two shoulder pieces together. So again, slip one stitch, knit one stitch, yarn over, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches and so on. For the sleeve, cast on 47 stitches to work 4 repeats and then when you need the desired length of the sleeve, you may cast off all the stitches and then sew it to the garment. I will show you how to join the sleeve to the garment with a crochet hook as I joined two shoulder pieces together. As usual, insert the hook into a stitch chain and then into a stitch here. Grab the yarn and pull it through two loops. Remove this stitch from the left needle and then just continue the process again. Insert the hook on this side and then into the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through. And that way I will continue all the way around. After you join the sleeve, that's how it looks like. And now join sleeve sides together, just the same way. For the edges, you may pick up stitches and then cast off them or use a crochet hook and work single crochet. When you work bottom edges, work one single crochet into each chain and at the very top work two single crochets into one chain. So single crochet two and again single crochet two and last time single crochet two. Then again continue single crochet one and so on. Lastly make two ties. To make one tie work 32 chains and then slip stitches back. You may attach a flower. After that, the cardigan is ready and thank you for watching.